Spirit ones, hear our voice. Together as one in reverence, we call on thee within the endless dark to deliver us into fate's hands. As the midnight moon rises on black wings, so we make our sacrifice and await the light at the end. In life and in death, we give you glory. Mother Miranda. Share your screen, and I'll go over the situation. My team and I were careless. Yesterday, we took down the transformed Miranda, but we didn't kill her. Who knew she could fake being a corpse? <clears throat> Since Miranda could have infected Ethan, I forcefully took him and Rose with us. But the vehicle they were riding in was attacked. When I got to the wreck, Ethan and Rose were gone. The last time I was able to contact Ethan, I heard Miranda's voice. She murdered him. And she is not gonna get away with it. God damn it, when does it end? What's that, sir? The mission? All of it. Three years trying to put this thing in the ground. Three years too long. Go get her, Captain. The squad's ready for you. Back in hell is a bulky man. So oh, BSAA got here already. They didn't waste any time. Mission adjustment? No, doesn't change anything. Terminate Miranda and rescue Rose. That's the mission. And failure's not an option. Let's have some fun, people. Like old times. Move out. Roger. Yes, okay. K9, I want to know what the hell BSAA is doing here. Find out what you can. Roger that. I'm on it. In a while since we fought together, Captain. When was it last? The desert? Doing nothing but recon's gotten me out of shape. But thanks to your recon, we know Miranda's plan. Couldn't quite believe it when I heard she turned herself into Mia, though. Taking five shots to the head's nothing to sneeze at, either. Spooky. So, um, so he says I should use the Magnum. Is this, is this what you're telling me? Is, is, so is, is, is he dead? I mean, he was in fact, he was in fact of a mole, but that does mean that his heart kind of got rubbed out. Ah. Uh, uh, I mean, I suppose in the way it makes sense that they had the day. It's been well established. Uh, Resident Evil is generally a sexless universe, and not only was he in a relationship, had a wife, he also had a baby, so I don't know what that, that involves things, so we know it's just, he, had, he had to be away from existence.
This was not the turn I was anticipating. Hey, Alpha. Look at this. Yes, it's a lovely gun. Yeah, it really, it really should have pulled, but it should have, yeah, it's way too close. It looks pretty rough down there. How are you planning on reaching the objective? First, we're gonna have to take that thing out. I've got your back, boss. Let's get to work. Everyone watch for hostile bioweapons. Roger. So we're just going full action game of dance. Here's the problem Make with Make contact this. with a group of hostile bioweapons. There's one that we can open. Watch out. Here's the this would work more in a you now you're Chris Redfield and now you kill all the things if the actually the rest of the game for Ethan didn't evolve into that if Ethan maintained some degree of horror and you know tension and what have you and didn't and didn't just fight in a makeshift tank with a chainsaw blocking a giant saw blade as I got hurled through there in a, in a metal tornado. Western route is clear, moving out. Roger that. You may have, you may have like a different feel to this, but you don't. BSAA craft spotted. Two guards. <laughs> I can take them. Don't get cocky. This is BSAA or evil now. Like I know the Christmas with blue umbrella. Is Lumbrella. Yeah, it's just ah, the, oh, the factory just sucked. It was done to the pace of the game. Just I, it's Resident Evil Six. I fucking hate Resident Evil Six. I despise Resident Evil Six. For you to say, hey, we're doing a thing. What it's going to turn into Resident Evil Six. Thing? No. It's all. New to my seat. It's a bit like went from Resident Evil 4 to Resident Evil 5 to Resident Evil 6 like we go to the action trilogy in one game and that's bad to me because truly only one of those is good. <laughs> it's Resident Evil 4. Resident Evil 5 is fine. And then Resident Evil 6 is Resident Evil 6. It's a disaster. And yes I know but oh the combat and the mercenaries. Yes I know I don't give a shit about those things. I'm talking about the main fucking games. But Resident Evil 7, it was like, oh, it's a return to horror. Well, that lasted feck along, didn't it? This is part of the reason why the beginning of the game pissed me off to such an extreme because, oh, we're back to this again, are we? We're back to shallow feckin' action sequences. And then, whilst the game was incredibly feckin' linear when it came to the castle, very much then it felt like, well, there's a feel here. It's not a feel, but there's a feel. And then I get in the car by the wayside and it's just intense. It's just the plodding along, increasing linearity with increasing actions that got more and more stocked up and shit. And now we then we got to the factory where it's just, yep, this is happening. I don't care. There are moments where they, can, they went, oh, yes, because you know, you can startle people. It doesn't matter if they're apathetic to things as a whole. Hey, boss, if they care enough to try to get through, then they're going to have reactions fire. to things. Might be a minute. Roger. Tundra here, leaving some supplies. Well, they got boss fight with Heisenberg. Oh, so. no. It's, oh, no, 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 no. We've, we, no. It feels like the only Resident Evils I'm going to enjoy anymore are the spin offs. Or spin offs, the. Remakes because if the remakes older games they kind of have to in some way adhere to you know things alike And saying that Resident Evil 3 remake happened and we know how that fucking turned out So what I'm saying this this game started shit and it's going to end it too Yeah why is this shit? It's just us for this unique because only AAA horror games. Is it horror? It's horror themed. We've, I feel like we've abandoned horror. We're just back to fucking action horror. Even did after one game, I was hoping says, ah, oh, maybe, you know, they're first person. Like, I'm, I'm not entirely sold in the first person aspect, but you know, if we're getting a trilogy of horror games, like, we got a trilogy of action games. 
Jesus, well that's something, but no. Umberize, I need some backup. I see you. Two hundred to the point. I guess you can miss damage then now to think about it. Why is this so worse? And Ethan's. It's really serious about the code Veronica in a way too. Because it's the person's game uh, gets finished off by Chris. I think it's kind of an auto pilot here because there's nothing, we're just mindlessly walking forward and shooting things. I just want this to end. Am I just supposed to push forward? And then you just stop happening? Or This, this is a catharsis because I've already. Ethan was more than capable of dealing with them. They weren't. A, they haven't been a problem. I've reached the target in location. An eternity. Damn, this is big. All right, Lobo, marking the target. Roger that, boss. I need to hold off then. Yep. It's a small pity that way. People has ever lived in this village. Must be something BSA guys are engaging the bioweapons. You're right, Captain. They must be after the Megamite C2. Come on, hurry it up, hurry it up, hurry it up. How many are
I found a way down. I'm going in. The rest of you stay back. Captain, I compared the mold at the village with a sample from the bakers, and uh, there's no sign of the genome editing we saw in the E-series. The stuff originated here. Like Some kind of a James Morning Star. See, I probably need to turn off. I'm overhead, boss. Oh, wait, I'm right. Good. I'll signal with the locator. Break. Start swinging around. Doing all manner of things. Zeddy just wants to stand there and have a little dance. Yep, this fight is keeping going. Rule of three. Favorite rule of a number after it. Prepping the next round. Oh, yeah. Hover around your crotch and hope for the best. Circle straight for them. Close to them, it seems like they can't do much of anything. And I'm just pointing this as crotch. Where do you go? I'm going to eject myself. Hold on. Okay, let's have a wee wiggle, please. Keep going. The rest of you stay above ground. <sighs> so if Miranda was the fake Mia, where's the real one? She I would ask this question earlier. Use for her. I don't get any of this. How did Miranda oh, so Mia's even know Rose exists? Right. A moldy little bird told her, maybe? We can figure that out later. Focus on the plan. So we just decided to wipe Resident Evil 7 from existence then? I found it. It's the Mega My Seed. Oh, it's the thing we've seen in all the things. Big baby. It's 
weird how this game just doesn't adhere to the first person thing that Alpha Seven squad. stuck with. I've located the Megamycete. It's like, what does this so add? we can end this mess after all. About damn time. And two explosives armed. There's enough there to blow the whole village sky high. Let's get out of here and blow the damn place. Not before I end Miranda. I'm not taking any more. This is a lot like Resident Evil 7, except I'm the going Chris in. Parks is actually Roger attached that. to the game. Standing by. Captain, I have eyes on Miranda at the ceremony site. Keep your distance. Do not move until I give the order. I know it's too late now, but. We really should have told Ethan the plan. Yes, you really should have done anything. Time. There was plenty of time. I didn't expect Miranda to act so soon. There was nothing but time. Even so, you should have told him. Yeah. Yes, this plot is contrived as shit. It's like in Resident Evil 7, you finish the game, and then Chris actually finishes the game, where he has to go after Lucas in this game. Ethan eats shit, and then Chris finishes the game. This must be Miranda's lab. And she's got some lovely concept art for us to look at. Why? Whatever. Sonic name, Salvatore Moro. Cado affinity low, brain functions surprisingly low. Cado has caused drastic changes to internal organs, transforming them into organs similar to fish like gills and swim bladder. Another subject which regular. Oh, wait, there's Riz Moreau. Regular cell division causing transformation of giant fish. Subjects unable to control transformations. Too many defects. Don't put the vessel for Eva. And <coughs> Cado affinity, most favorable. Brain functions, normal. Regeneration rate is incredibly fast. The subject can heal any external wounds within seconds and grow her nails in the claws of mere moments. Rapid regeneration also means an increased body size. Note, due to hereditary blood disease, the subject must ingest human flesh and blood on a regular basis to maintain just pro What? How's that tied to the blood disease? I suspect that the subject's generation is not properly balanced, then she may mature uncontrollably. An unfit vessel. It's lovely that she took the time to style these, these books after, you know, the person. Eisenberger. Grand Hebrew. Normal. Has electric organs. Similar to electric ray. I don't know how to pronounce that. These electric organs are connected to the subject's nervous system, can therefore pass and control electricity throughout the entire body, allowing control of magnetic fields, which is used to move metal. Splendid specimen, Miss Dolanfoot. And Donna Benevento, favorable, normal, severe mental illness. Physically, she is no different from a regular human. However, she can secrete a signal producing substance which controls plants infected by mutamycete. When humans absorb the pollen from a particular flower, she can cause them to she cause them to have hallucinations from a particular flower. We don't know what we'll know. However, she is mentally underdeveloped and has divided her cado among her dolls in order to control them from a distance. Oh, so that was all legit then. Alright. Gado. So they're using this to control the bioweapons. Why is it rotating? Oh, it's the myelin stick, right? I see. Oh. Why would you just have this lying out? Hey, would you just tell- Oh, see, she was there with Evelyn. Oh, it's all connected. 
People. Dear Miranda, my deepest apologies for not meeting you in person. I would love nothing more than to visit your quaint village once more. However, I am incredibly busy. And then again, I suppose for an immortal woman such as yourself, you no longer remember this poor half dead medical student in the snow. I have always cherished the revelations or sorry, the revelations I came to fifteen years ago when I stayed in your village. I was inspired by your research. To think one could transform a human by infecting them with an organism. Positively visionary. I knew that with that knowledge I could achieve my own vision for the next step in human evolution. Even after two world wars, and this is going to be fucking Spencer, isn't it? Even after two world wars and humanity on the cusp of another, my conviction never wavered. I raise hair for blah blah blah, dead. The experiment and mold. Uh, may, may my dare chief I fought a virus food. This is why, my dear, I had to leave you. I still regret never telling you goodbye. My apologies for reminiscing, I actually have news that I found my pleasure. Uh, I have found the key to evolution, the progenitor virus. A, 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 the progenitor, a virus found in Africa. We don't don't ask about what everything is going on there and uh, well, well, how things look. Uh, just, 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 just leave it at that. I plan to start a company with friends and colleagues. One of those and discover virus research. I will call it umbrella, just like the symbol in the cave that we spoke about. All oh, this, you see. All right. Uh, are, are, are you, are we seriously trying to explain why the umbrella logo is the umbrella logo? Are we ser- What would be a contrived mystery? Well, what if in the village there was an umbrella logo? But how do we explain that off? Ah, it's just not. The umbrella logo was here all along. But Spencer knew this village and knew of Miranda and knew all about this thing. Though it never came up in the daily. And he knew all about this stuff and he took the logo from there and made a company called Umbrella because of that. This sucks. <laughs> this just sucks. This is prequel bullshit level of suckage. <laughs> this does we need to explain everything. The universe is tiny. Everything has to be connected. This sucks. This I loof some writing. I. Let me fall far Spencer, here. No way. God, oh, this game continues to this shit on everything. I I've she's trying to bring back Feck and Evelyn. I just put I just, I'm, I'm, I just I saw Eva but it didn't connect. Which is weird, because this whole room is, let's make everything connect, no matter how fucking pathetic it is. My Eva, it's been 100 years since I lost you to the Spanish flow. I was so put this whole thing. Wait, so, okay. Is Mia and Seven actually Miranda then? Or is Mia Mia? Oh, fuck it. But now I can bring you back. I had to test your new vessel, Jennifer Bullies. I took her apart and revived her and making me see the James Chalice. All those senses merged her. After I lost you, I stuck in the grief that I wanted to keep. Today, I wanted to move to the I touched the black stuff and make people know that you've been down. I knew the consciousness was there too. I returned to the village and planted villagers. I experimented and increased efficiency. 
Yeah, so they've seen that her close connection to Kim Jong Un, to the post Kim Jong Un's influential organization, where she worked. And all the credit was another defect to have one. Alright, see, that's how it works. And again, I could be feeling it was nice. Yeah, it was. Yep, it's just a photo of yourself. Here you go. What the? See, there, see, look, there's Miranda in the middle. Take this in our way. Uh, there is Evelyn at the bottom. There's a Mia on the right. There's a man that uh, took a pipe to the side of the head beside Mia. And uh, there's the diff shit that was on the boat, the vomited everywhere in the mold. On the left, in the black. Hmm. Don't know who the rest of them are. Lock. I don't have a map to see where progress is, so I'm just gonna have to hope I don't stumble into it. I. Okay. It's very dark. What's this big lump? This. Oh, this is a big lump. What big lump? What is big lump? Ooh, who knows what big lump is? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Show me your hands. Umbrise, this is Alpha. Where is Miranda right now? is you. I'm glad you saved me. Why are you here? I was caught in Houston experiments. Wait, did you say Mia? Mia Winters? In the flesh. What's the situation up there? Kind of a war going on. Nothing we can't handle. Don't get distracted. Stick to the mission. I'm headed to the ceremony site. Wait. You can't leave me here. You promised, damn it! You said that you would keep us safe. Instead, we did you, you, you asked. punched we moved the husband in the face, drag him away, and don't tell him they shit, and he continues to stay aggressive so for no good we reason. Together, so you tell me, where is my husband? His first in the snow. Where is my daughter? And four different boxes. Gone. I couldn't save him. But I can save Rose. Come on. It's not safe here after all. What do you mean he's gone? He's dead. I'm sorry, Mia, but we have to leave. We have to destroy this village. No! You're wrong. I tried to keep this a secret, but... I am the village. You don't understand how special he is. Oh, for God's sake. And you, uh, you have no idea how pertinent that question is. It's cold. Yeah, there's snow. It's not gonna get any warmer. Not that fast, anyway. How did I get here? God, freeze! Your hand. Why is it fine? This shit! My body! Shit, your body? I mean, yeah, I, I, I haven't had diarrhea that bad, but you know, I get the. I can understand the feeling. You're so dumb. 
Oh god damn it, Evelyn. Evelyn? How are you here? You're dead. Dead? I mean, Miranda. She. No. I still have to save Rose. <laughs> it wasn't Miranda. You were always dead. What are you saying? I can still... See? Miranda didn't kill you. You mean you didn't think it was weird? No matter how much you got hurt? I mean, yes. Remember. Where the fuck are we going with this? Three years ago. The Baker House. You were murdered by Jack. You died there three years ago. That's that's impossible. No way. <laughs> you shouldn't even be able to walk around. Quit messing with my head. You shouldn't be walking. Screw <laughs> you! What, what am I? A bow! You've been a bow all along. <laughs> Let's make Chris hit some. I... Did all that. <laughs> Rose. Mia. I. Yes, that means Miranda just squeezed a load of mold water over her face. <laughs> mm. I, I will save Rose! You know what? As dumb as it is. I at the very least appreciate them trying to explain how Ethan could survive all the injuries he's sustained to this point. At last, he awakes. Hey, get up that fish. Where am I? My carriage, Ethan. You were having a nightmare. Yeah, what about your hand? You have two hands, Ethan. Duke? Your battle with Heisenberg was a sight to see. But to think Miranda would show head? herself. How long have I been out? You can tell he's got a ball cutter not and what's going on there. Duke, I need a favor. Take me to Miranda. I assumed as much and I'm already on the way. We should arrive shortly. Thank you. <laughs> but Ethan, are you sure of this? Your body is, well, falling apart. Yes. Foolish of me to ask. Speaking of foolish questions, who or what are you? <laughs> Even I can't quite answer that. It's going to turn out he's William Birkin. We're here. Doesn't matter what, what happened in the two, still Birkin Mr. somehow. Winter. Or it's Wesker. 
I'm afraid you can't return to your old world any longer. Are you ready? Yeah. I have to be. I gotta go. Uh, do we have a save point anywhere? Why are we by Britain? So violently. Stop, stop, stop. 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 Alright, we never... We never got that. Or this one over here. The, the, why is this cursor going so slow now? It was always slow. There's a typewriter. Oh. Hey, <sighs> oh, there you are. Find right yourself. Duke Emporium has everything you need for your decisive battle. This may be our last meeting. Be sure you have all you need. I mean, I don't think there's much I can do at this point. Oh, the assemblage of life and machine. I can feel Lord Heisenberg's essence through it. <sighs> but, oh good, we can have a lot of more. There's some more. Oh boy. I wonder if it's a new game plus then this stuff carries over. Uh, what are we even going to eat? You know, I'm going to ponder this. This is probably going to take a while, actually. Your journey nears its end. What's this? How about some reckless spending to finish it off? Is that you? That you. <laughs> I don't know what to do. What the hell? Oh boy. Right. So looking at this, they're gonna want to do This is your last chance. Yes, yes, yes. I wonder if those two chests left are for the shotgun. I mean, it's possible because they told her. Like this is in the shop. Like Sig, was there a Sig? Yeah, that's the first pistol. That is the SMG. SMG. Yeah. I guess that that could be the mysterious tomb treasure boxes. Amat Victoria Koram. Quite. One moment, please. Mm -hmm. yeah, thank it. This will be my last time watching you walk away. I mean, not necessarily. I can walk over there and walk back, and you'll see me walking again. Mm. Very throbby. Right. Any anything in there? Oh, we got all those lockpicks too. Right? Like, if we wanted to, could we even go back? 
Nick, we're still gonna walk. Uh, no, no, we can't. All right. It's once you get into the factory, that's that, I guess. Out of my way. <sighs> body certainly isn't normal. Give Rose to me. Now! You will see. Once I kill you properly, everything... Get her now! <laughs> Let go! I've spent a lifetime creating this moment. And you try to take it away from me. Switch. And now she's uh, the soul's boss. You disposed of my false children and awakened the glorious Megamycete. Now, please do not worry for little Rose. Mm -hmm. I assure you, I'll provide her with true happiness. Oh. So now you can die peacefully and permanently. Ah. Do not let me get away. Please, Mr. Winters. Wasn't this in a conventional fate? At least what appears to be one of the space. Yes. Okay, this is the thing I hate about. It's a place for the construction cover for me. Why? I probably should have bought. Ow. Some healing items. How about this? There's nothing. You understand the love of a parent to a child. How can you deny? No. Why the hell can't you realize? Rose is my goddamn kid, not yours! I shall put you to rest. Oh! You won't interfere. The men in my seat saved me from the pits of despair. It granted me this splendid power! Yeah, right. All it's done is drive you nuts. And you don't know she wasn't like that initially. After all, Ooh, everyone this, dies. This spectacle. This, again, art-wise, I think, fantastic. I think the boss looks great. It animates beautifully. <laughs> ah, shit. Such like the lighting also in here looks fantastic. I just... 
the, the, the factory on is just... Damn. It's just killed all my interest, unfortunately. <gasps> I think this is something that people need to get. One thing I did not agree was the second sniper rifle. Will this? Well, I saw the yeah those. Hold still. After all, everyone dies. is bad. Have we gone black and white? <laughs> Getting fancy? Now, Mr. Winters, I think it's time you left things in my hands. Yes. The hell I will. Die, 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 die. What? Let's give it a go. I'm sure this will go well, and all bullets will find their target. I will take back my daughter! It, it didn't work. I understand your feelings. But this is... If I combine Rose with a Megamycet, my daughter will be made manifest at last! I've waited a century. A century! All for this day! <sighs> Such vitality! How disgusting! This is the fight today! Why do you need to be here? Surely you have no need for this now! So close to death! You never struck for all the phases now, what's actually say, you know. I'm is neat. You psycho! <laughs> Corpse! Your life is over, Why do you still fight? That's not moving. <laughs> Ow. Did you hear man health items and non existence on health items? Let's just. Let's just make them. Hold still. You still stop. <clears throat> I'll take wonderful care, little rose. This is... The villagers, those four they could do nothing to assuage my years of loneliness. Ever think the problem might be you, Miranda? You're not capable of real love. None shall interfere in my grand designs. <laughs> <laughs> This is how you end the winters. <sighs> to ensure I never see you, I will feed you to the cross. Every single cell of your being. You will rot for all eternity and punishment for <sighs> That's weird.
good looking baby. Thinking that after it's being right. taken apart and reassembled, right. maybe things pick come out a little bit better today. Why can't you do? His life. Oh no, now I'm all dusty too. Ethan! Ethan! Look how much you crumbled. Come on, Ethan, wake up. That's what you want, wouldn't you? Oh, no. Chris. Ethan. He did it. It's finished. I think we've finished each other. Ethan. We gotta move. Keep moving, Ethan. There's a bomb in that thing that'll blow this whole village sky high. Hey, look at me. When I hit this trigger, we can't be anywhere near it. Ah, damn it. Mia's waiting for you. She's alive, you hear me? Alive. Mia. I'm so sorry. I love you. Keep Rose safe. Hey, hey. Hey. <laughs> Tell yourself. Oh, come on, it's not that much further. Watch over her. Teach her to be strong. God damn it. Goodbye, Rosemary. Ethan. I was so desperate not to show his fist for a second, I thought he had no head. <laughs> uh, texture loading, there we go. Take us up now! Or will be, because soon it's, it's going to be a, a the, the perimeter is going, going to be a bit on. bigger. Where? That's uh, that was that's a terrible looking explosion. What was that? I told you to sit down. Why does no one listen to me? Escape. I'm sorry. Captain. You need to see this. <laughs> this is Stephen's head in the sky. This is the big person's head. Soldiers. This is a bioweapon. This is a What yeah, were they thinking? Oh shit. Orders, Captain. Oh god, it's Resident Evil 6 again. We're going to get another Resident Evil 6. Oh no! Of course, we're BSAA Europe HQ. Oh no! 
the fellas up to a boo world war again. Someone's gotta pay. Oh, have you learned nothing? The main problem running into here is... <sighs> okay, this... Does it say the main thing up front? The game itself... Is take away everything else around it... Is good. I still think the start of the game is kind of lackluster. But as a whole... Game good. Quite good, in fact. Was it a detriment to it? This is... It depends on what Resident Evil is your Resident Evil. If you have certain things that you want from a Resident Evil... <sighs> no. The original style... is going to be my primary. Resident Evil 4... I really like Resident Evil 4. But it's not my favourite. This game is somehow Resident Evil's 4, 5 and 6. And I only like a third of those. I suppose too, it's, it's, been, it's been a while since I've seen this thing in this place and all this, here's to each boss and each boss you get a piece, which I guess you could say is like a different piece of robes. And he's, then, I, don't, I don't quite, I don't, I don't know. But obviously those all apply to different people, it's like they're, you know, say, oh, it's Gifts we great. gave, but more you took, she snarled, so more in turn is due. In a blink, the girl was trapped inside a mirror. Her parents, though, had searched all day and at last arrived. With rampant rage, father fought the witch, while mother's loving touch shattered the dark enchantment. But the witch was strong, and father yelled, Save our daughter! So mother bore their child to safety as the forest was consumed. Even now, the burnt forest is a grim reminder of father's sacrifice. To this day, any child who stares too long into the charred wasteland will be haunted by nightmares of getting lost while picking berries. Alright. So this... To retreat to the rankings that I had before, this is obviously better than Resident Evil 6. It's better than Resident Evil 5. It's better than Code Veronica. It is better than Zero. I would need to replay 3, original to know. Just, I, I don't know. I don't know how to feel. Like the, the beginning of the game, the end of the game, just for me, for what I want from Resident Evil, it really shit the bed. That's the, that's the problem with Resident Evil at this point. You have what it was initially, you have what happened before, at this point you have such a, such a wide appeal that if you go in one direction over the other, not everyone, not everyone's going to be happy. You can't just can't say, here's a new Resident Evil game, people like Resident Evil are going to be happy. And so like 7 was like, alright, you're working with the ideas that I like, but you're not committing to it fully, or it's not fully there, it's too linear, the exploration's not there at all, the enemy variety is terrible. 
it's the but the base is here. If you expanded on this, we would have something. Resident Evil 8. They just did away with it and went back to four, five, and six. There's little moments here and there where they they can have a little bit of the castle. A little and of course the they went full horror for uh what's their name? This will say the doll. So like that. But the exploration was non existent. It was all incredibly linear. You had an open map at the end, but the means in which you acquired that open map required a significant amount of linearity, and you weren't really doing any exploration back and forth too, like too much. The castle again was the closest we get to that. And what else? They. The one time where I feel like, is this going to open up? It's like whenever you get out of the castle. Yeah, when you get out of the castle and you get the rundown of the other bosses, I thought, wait, is this going to open up? Is this going to be not open world, but like, is this going to be a big open area? And we're going to choose what fight we're going to. No, you don't. It is still linear. And your village, and the village is used as a hub. And why couldn't we have kept the villagers alive? Like the ones that we had. So when the village changes state over time, we have some that we have something to talk to, something to happen. But no, let's just kill everybody off immediately. It's the weird thing is that like the remakes outside of three, well, I suppose it was only, suppose only two. We don't know how four is going to be. Like two is just. It was a slightly more action Resident Evil game at the time, and they made it more horror. Resident Evil 4. It looks like they're trying to put more horror into it. So I'm curious how that's going to go. Now, it's not going to. Uh, from the little bit of gameplay that I've seen, it's obviously not going to. It's not going to be full on horror. Like, we still have melee moves. But I'm kind of curious if they lean further into it. Like, I wonder if totally Resident Evil 4 is going to be closer to what they could have done for it. Because it just went full dumb. That's what I mean when I say we're back to Resident Evil, we're mainly back to Resident Evil 5. With some bullshit that kind of ed edges towards 6, but not severely. Like, this is very much like an RE5 with RE4 elements. But as I mentioned before, incredibly lackluster versions. Like I don't feel like it adds anything. It does. What only feels like this game doesn't have its own identity in certain aspects because it leans so heavily on RE4. Not to again, not as bad as RE5. RE5, the RE4ness was a detriment to the felt as a foreign retread. To me, in a way, it's one of the reasons that I find RE5 to be so. Just <sighs> but that's already it. It's taken a year and whatever, near two years to finally get it finished. I just want to say I'm glad I did, which I am, because you know I paid for it. But I'd be lying if I said it's just that I also could have left it. <laughs> it's the problem, I care too much about old Resident Evil when I never heard it play this. It's just, it's just, it's, it it just isn't what I want. Ultimately, it's, like, it's a quality game, but just ultimately isn't just, isn't the thing that is for me. And that's just, that's just, it's just, just how it is. Like, I can appreciate it. I think the game looks great, spectacle, just yes, you have variety, it is, it, is, it, is, it is a good game, it is just not the game that, it's just not the game for me, I was hoping for something after. Do you think the little boy will be able to touch the moon? But he can touch the moons too far away. Then I can try to lift a rocket ship. Uh, okay, then he can touch it, but it'd be very, very cold. Why does it look like she has Ethan's jacket? 
You were being silly. I don't <laughs> think the moon is here. Here we see everybody's fears, but Ethan's. So you know, he's first person man. He doesn't have a face, you're his face. Hey, Dad. Happy birthday. Sorry I missed last week. I have a lot of tests coming up. You know how it is. No, I don't. I'm dead. I love you. Yeah, I found her. Where else? The day of all days. <clears throat> we have a situation. You're needed, <laughs> Evelyn. Don't you ever call me that again. Whoa. Whoa, it's just a joke, Rose. I can show you things even Chris doesn't know I can do. We have a clear shot. Stand down. I can handle it. She's just a kid. I want you to keep it together, Rose. You're a lot like him, you know? I know. <sighs> Somebody up the road there. Lean out and twat him in the back of the head. Just lean out and twat him in the back of the head. Where stop? Care stop? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> All right, sure. Do you mean we're just going to hang here? Is this like playing? Like an RPG back in the day where you would get to the end screen and it wouldn't restart or put you to the menu and you had to reset the game. What are we doing here? Yep, as over the time that I would say that I would want to play one of these games for. Okay. Oh, concept art, an extra content shop. Challenges, complete challenges. This was like what happened for RE3. New movies. Ooh. Hmm. The, the Wesker Chronicles X. Uh, you can play the following challenges. These are trophies. So I'm going to assume half of these. Right. Sure. We're back where we started. So, like, what's. Mercenaries. Solid rifle. Chris's blade. Chris's pistol. Chris's solar gun. A different magnum. Finishing hardcore. I, I'm sorry. Wait, all stages of these assets rank mercenaries and lot. Is this is just a lightsaber? Different ammos. So I'm just going. Okay, now we have to. Is it just going to be as close? Is he not going to have a head? Wait. Jump the content. <laughs> what? 
it's especially dumb now since the third person mode's a thing. Ah, oh, fuck it. That's Resident Evil 8. <laughs> Whoever you are. Wherever you may be. May you have a lovely morning, afternoon, evening, or indeed night. That's... Uh, okay, I guess it's on to RE4. Goodbye. I swear to God, if Audacity's crashed. Hooray! <laughs> I swear to God, if I haven't been recording. Hooray! <laughs> yeah. Alright, we're here in the post-playthrough post-editing world. I want to take in um, a more all-encompassing final thoughts than the... Uh, the deflated ones that I had uh, during the credits. First up, the story. It's awful. It only comes to pass through characters refusing to talk to each other, being stupid, and acting out of character. Well, Chris is out of character. Mia's consistently shit. To me, it's just bad writing, and as with Seven, they seemingly want to tell stories with a bit more depth in terms of twists, connections, and characters. But to me, they just can't bloody do it. 7 and 8 have a heavier focus on the story, and in both, it was the worst part of those games. Now here's the thing, this isn't going to be some feckin' elevating of older games, no! Past Resident Evil games never had good stories. But they never leaned into it as hard. They were basic, and ultimately quite shallow. When they were revisited in the remakes, they got a bit more character work, and the overall narrative got a little bit more fleshing out. But the stories were still simple. They were perfectly fine for what they were. But as soon as the writers are left to their own devices for a new story, they make a complete arse of it. And to me, it actively ruins the game. Since they feel the need to drag down the pace of the game, because no, story! Let's have the whole opening of the game be a story! Let's have the whole end of the game be a story! No, stop! Also, it feels like we've went a bit too far when it comes to a virus. It's always been bollocks, completely. Everyone's ever, pretty much, not quite the start start. You could say, well, at times, supposed to be a super soldier. We don't know how, okay, but, meh, meh, meh. But they've always tried to explain everything away. For the first time, it feels like they can't. When our reasoning becomes as scientific as a shrug, we may have pushed it a bit. Why does a mold fetus make a werewolf, a vampire, a fish man, a walking bong? A magneto. Why is there a giant underground mold fetus? And then, of course, there's everything revolving around Umbrella, and I, I just can't. Resident Evil 8's story is the narrative equivalent to Resident Evil 6. Now, let's leave all that bullshit behind and get to what I realized throughout the editing process. The opening and closing one to two hours or so suck ass, but everything in between is solid to grit. Location variety, village, castle, Beneviento house, and the fog laden path towards it. The drowned village, ruins, and the factory. The latter three are obviously the weakest. There's a focus on caverns and generally dark interiors. It's just unfortunate that those three follow each other. Regardless of preference, they're densely packed with environmental clutter, or the nice way to frame it, they feel lived in. Also grit, the structure, in theory. The village acting as a hub between the big moments, so to speak. I love it. Unfortunately, it devolves into a spot of difference, with each return requiring a full retread if you want to get everything. This slightly disappointing result is unaided by the quick removal of surviving villagers, who, if nothing else, could have been there to give background info, nudge you towards side content and so on, perhaps slowly getting picked off over the course of the game. Whilst I have reservations on the rationale behind their existence, the enemy variety is also greatly welcomed. The mobile lichens, the more strip zombie-like, um, ghouls, we'll say, and of course the plethora of Mr. Drillers. One straight-up complaint, though, is the half-committal approach to RE4 aspects, specifically weapons and inventory. To cut straight to it, it feels tacked on. 
Yes, I'm making guns stronger, but they have no identity. Once you find the newest addition to a category, there is zero reason to hold on to the last. Stat-wise, the new gun picks up from where the previous leaves off, and has no unique characteristics. Let's look at the pistols between 4 and 8. In 4, handgun is your starting weapon, and that's as intriguing as it sounds. Black Tail is the starting handgun, but better. Punisher has piercing, initially it'll travel through 2 enemies, but can be upgraded to 5. The Red 9 can be the strongest pistol and has an optional stock for reduced recoil, and the Matilda is a 3 shot burst with optional stock. Now, let's compare this to it. The Lemmy is your starter, it's a pistol. The M1911 is better than the Lemmy stat wise and has that bonus of not having to let go of the trigger. And the V61 Custom is a full auto SMG that takes the place of the pistol. It's better stat wise than both the Lemmy and the M1911. That's it. It's a perpetual incline. In RE4 you can make choices and exalt them with unfounded vindication and belligerence. You can't really do that in it. The customization could be the source of this needed identity, but it's not. It's slightly stronger, more accurate, more bullets. So what? Speaking of customization, the inventory. Setting aside functionality downgrades from the lack of 360 rotation, and more importantly, the lack of ability to switch one item with another, there's also the return of the half-hearted inventory limit. This was a problem in 7. They wanted inventory management, but it was never a problem due to constant expansions. In 8, this is pretty much the case as well, but of course this is a more action oriented game, so you know the inventory constraints should be a little bit looser. However, my problem is how this ties into gun customizations. Stocks, scopes, etc. aren't reflected in the attaché case. Slap a stock on the shotgun, it's the same as before. In RE4, extra parts took extra space. You are investing in the gun in both monetary and space senses. It feels meaningful. Oh, and I would be remiss not to mention some environmental design from an art perspective. Yep, still don't know what to call it. The game has some beautiful scenes, the Miranda boss fight, the Benviento house, the factory overview, the castle dungeon with light beaming down, this, there is some fantastic art in RE8. In conclusion, Resident Evil 8 is a very good game. It is also a disappointing game. This Bo's second playthrough through editing has helped me get a better view of the game as a whole and I have a much better appreciation of it as a result. When I was watching it back I wanted to go back and play through it again. And as it turns out, you can skip through a lot of the upfront bullshit. There is a surprising lack of game to play at the beginning. And I feel like for the rest of a new playthrough I'm going to skip every fucking cutscene and note in that game. I'll have a better time until the factory and away then 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 it might all go the shit. But you know, I got a I got a good run. I can only hope that with Ethan's death and the village gone kablooey, that we can scrap all this drag and start over. And for fact's sake, I am fed up with hearing about Spencer and Umbrella. Move on! The only time I want to hear them mentioned is in passing or in remakes. So, there you go. Now it's on to Resident Evil 4. Again. 55 pound? 55 pound? 50, oh wait, that's, well I mean that's better. Still not paying it though. <laughs>